Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 7, the final episode of our campaign as the Achaemenid Persians. I was hoping to get much farther than this by the end. Having said that though, I am hoping with my heart of hearts that we are able to at least uh, get our independence this episode, if not more more than that. You know, maybe we can see some states, a large part of the Median Empire, something to that degree. I would be very pleased if that was the case. Now, to that end, we are going to march for Ekbatna. Maybe we can draw out whatever armies the Medeans have. It looks like there are 24,000 men over in area. A uh, couple thousand men between <laughs> us and Victory. I I feel as if they're going to remain there. Maybe I can... Uh, why is Bactria at war with Medea? Why is that? Uh, the Bactrian raid on Medea. Okay. So again, very similar in my mind to the fall of the Assyrian Empire. Just many, many powers coming in, taking whatever they wish. Uh, you know, there's raiders, Chimerians, Scythians, uh, probably Italians. <laughs> They're coming on over. They're like, ah, give me everything you got. Okay, we have a blasphemic advisor. We have Many, many, many blasphemous. I feel like blasphemous makes more sense than blasphemic. Uh, blasphemous advisors. We have many, 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 many of them. And it is really weakening uh, confidence in my court, I have to say. You know, there's like all these questions of religious authority and uh, we're having a lot of issues in that regard. We have 32 of 26 men. Uh, I suppose, actually, we lost some of our force limit due to no longer being a vassal. So to that, I say... We need to shed, what, six units? Okay. We're going to get rid of some of these citizens... Let's see. I can go six, two, two. That's only three. Let's get rid of one more unit. Hmm. I suppose so. Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep the citizens, get rid of them. I don't need the skirmishers. No, I'll keep the skirmishers. <laughs> That's six units. It certainly is. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Okay, so now we should be doing much better financially. Which is exactly... Oh, merchant ships sunk. <laughs> okay. Area occupied northern Margiani. Mathematician Artabanus has died. Motherfuck. <laughs> All of these issues with goddamn advisors. Okay. We can hire a philosopher, which is actually going to increase my splendor as well. Uh, we can hire a scholar that's going to reduce my cost in technology. We're going to go for the prestige and splendor. Now, splendor is useful for actually purchasing these different bonuses. We need 1,200. So that is 1,200 months with Xerxes in that role unless we do some of these other things. Uh, there's no way we can build 100 heavy ships. I don't know, I think once we begin taking over Median territories those will be much more likely to uh, be doable. Now Let's just make sure we're not getting 
too carried away here. Areas. This is Parthia. Eastern Hyrcania. So at the very least, I need to capture, what? Is this five, six provinces? Something like that. Okay, uh, the Medeans have mysteriously disappeared. We just need to keep our eyes open. Uh, people are food, uh, importing, importing, exporting food. Motherfuck. The Babylonians have captured <laughs> Arsacia. That is the place that I need to besiege and capture. It needs to be under my control in order for me to ask for it in the peace talks. Yet here they are, raining on my gut. Damn parade. Well, okay, we're continuing to raid at the very least, getting lots of loot. Oh, here we go. Here are 12,000 Medeans. And are the Parthians at war as well? No, not at this point. Interesting. Okay, the Medeans have defeated the Lydians. And we're fine. We can continue our siege of Ekbatna. Unopposed, let's just keep an eye open for Aryans. I have no idea where they are, but oh shit, the Bactrians are coming in hot. Oh god, they're doing their work. Oh. Are they, uh... Are they besieging... Arsacia, or are they looting, perhaps? That's interesting. Oh, let's check the devastation while we're at it. We have zero devastation. Okay, I was worried that the uh, Medeans did some some damage whilst they were here, but it seems not. I can't march into... Oh, I see. It is because of Ekbatna. Well, it's a good thing we're besieging it. And it's a good thing we have the Babylonians here to assist as well. Or did they move on? It seems they've moved on. It's just us. Okay. That's alright. Now. Whew. Since we are about seven or eight minutes in, I just want to say, if you are enjoying this series, uh, please leave a like. Please leave a comment. Uh, if you have any thoughts or questions as to anything I've said related to the history surrounding the period, maybe you need to correct me, please let me know. Uh, if you want to see the series continue, now would be the time to scroll down, leave a comment, leave a like. If I get a huge amount of feedback on the last episode, as well as the first episode, that is definitely something that is going to keep, uh, that's going to, you know, uh, that's going to keep me interested. I peak, peak, that's the goddamn word. That's going to peak my goddamn interest. All right, we have um, amazingly captured Ekbatna. And we can plunder everything, enslave everyone. Oh my god. We will gain 10,000 slaves, 20 ducats, lose a bunch of development in Ekbatna. We will... I think we have to plunder everything, enslave everyone. That's the only thing... I can see now after 220 days we have successfully captured Ekbatna and now we can continue to siege down the rest of these provinces and weirdly enough our war score <laughs> with Medea is not that great. Okay. I want them to grant our independence. So that is 23 war score. I want them to... Cancel some subjects. That would be cool too. If I could like transfer... That would be cool. If, if I could transfer their vassals to me, that would be really interesting. Ask for all sorts of gold. <laughs> We can potentially get 383. That will result in a small amount of inflation. How about uh, provinces? Apamea, Semina, Kanatha. 
Oh, we can actually do all of this. Interesting. <laughs> we could potentially take Ekbatna. No, they're not into that. Oof. Say it ain't so. Okay, so... Uh, da -da -da, relative strength of alliances. Occupied and besieged provinces. Length of war is too short. Okay. Well, we need to capture... Ghana. Semina. Oh man, the Medeans are uh, not long for this world <laughs> at this rate. They're really not doing well. What is this? Military access from... Oh, 25% slaves to state development. Construction cost and time negative. Goods produced. Culture conversion cost. Okay. That's interesting. So, our slaves... 25 slaves to state development. What does that mean? 25% slaves to state development. What is my current state development? 309? Uh, <laughs> I am not understanding this. Hold on here. <laughs> okay, hold on here. 25% slaves to state development. So the amount of slaves I have is 25% of my state development. If I were to multiply 300 by 10 or something, by 100, who knows where that math is coming from. I, for one, cannot say. Uh, what I can say, though, is we need to... We need to deal with these Aryans. They're kind of just trudging around our territory, and I am not into that at all. Let's head back to the... Well, no. Let's head back to Aspidana and head across to head them off the pass. So, I definitely want to get my war score to 100 so that we can do... So that we can seize as much territory as possible. If I could take the Ekbatna... State, that would be good. Although I imagine, yeah, the Babylonians are very much into that. Let's see what the Babylonians are wanting. They are... Uh... Nisibis. They want Nisibis. Which is... Where the fuck is Nisibis? Isn't it? I cannot recall. We were there previously against the Lydians. Ah, uh, right here. They want Nisibis. Okay, what about the Lydians? They want... They still want Sebaste. Okay. So I'm hoping that's all those guys take. I can deal with that. Uh, what I could do is wait out their wars, and once they have pieced out of their wars, I can swoop in and take whatever I please. I'm just trying to get uh, good relations with the states around me. Alrighty. Medea occupied Darium. Motherfuck. <laughs> this is where the second army comes in. So, their general is much better than mine. God damn. Okay, well, we will deal with that later. Maybe once I besiege Kuana, I can send Kurash over to area. We can besiege the capital. That will force them out. The Babylonians and the Lydians are... Ooh, the throne of Medea. Here we go. After we occupied the capital of the Median Empire, the local nobles offered their support and thrown to us. This is a great chance, but will also lead to instability. All Median subjects become independent. We accept the offer. We just want independence. We accept the offer. We inherit Medea. Gain Median as an accepted culture. General Mazaris becomes available for duty. Okay. 
I think we have one stability already. Okay. Uh, right. A throne inherited, my Shah. My Shah! Your charm has certainly done wonders for our nation. Thanks to you, we have inherited the throne of Medea. Charm and beauty are sometimes as effective as cannons. What the fuck's a cannon? <laughs> no one knows. Alrighty. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, Median is not... Oh no, it is quite, quite large. I just have to wait for that to update, I guess. Alright, what's going on? You can make states. Oh my god. <laughs> well, at the very least, I'm pretty sure we just cucked Babylon and Lydia. Lydia. I'm, I'm undecided as to Lydia or Lydia. Mercenary force limited reached. You can't recruit more mercenaries because you have reached the maximum of six regiments. Okay. Can I... Fire the mercenaries? Uh... We have... Oh man, there's just so much shit going on. Oh, okay, let's let's start from the right and work our way in. You can make these states. Ekbatna. Uh, no, no, no. I want to make Ekbatna. Come on, you mother... Fuck. I need to unpause because a lot of shit's happening. There we go. We have gained the invasion Cassus Belli against all sorts of places, border conquest... Okay, you have exiled armies. Where? In area. Oh my fucking god. All of the Median troops are now ours. Okay. Oh man, this is, uh, this is a lot to process. Okay. Well, you have too many military leaders. Indeed, I need to find Farnaspa. You have served me well, but unfortunately, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. <laughs> Farnaspa, bye. Bye, Farnaspa. There we go. Okay, uh, your units have suffered casualties. Yes. You have exiled armies. Yes. Mercenary force limit reached. Yes. You have hired condottieri while at peace. Oh, I see. Uh, condottieri, cancel mercenaries. Goodbye. War exhaustion is high. It will go away. Corruption is quite high. It will also go away eventually. Provincial unrest. <laughs> oh no. Oh <laughs> no. Look at it. Oh. We really need. We really need some ideas here. Yikes. Ah. Uh... I get... Well, I can't make... Oh, I can't make all the states I need, but I can certainly start with the most development. Ekbatna is definitely a fully formed state. Right? And... That's great. Okay, sorry. I'm just trying to process this. Armenia inferior. We can make a state. It's actually going to cost us. That's just fine. Armenia superior. Would be here. We can make that a state. Uh, da -da -da. I'm just reading this, sorry. Okay, uh, all right. Now we can make a state out of Atropatine, which would be in the center. Hold on, let's go to the states and territories map mode. Atropatine is probably this. Sagartia, 
currently has one province in this state. That's fine. Ooh, it will increase our income by about two. So at this point, we will definitely... We'll definitely activate gold and silver, will we not? Oh, never mind. We need to have more gold income. Interesting. So now we have... How many? Oh, God. There's a lot of shit to do here. We currently have ten states. We can have five more. So we'll go for... Sophie at Kamajin. I don't know where that is. Right here, we'll make that a state. The Babylonians currently... Uh, we'll increase our income by about... When autonomy has been reduced to lower levels. Okay. So th some of this stuff is going to begin costing us money. Uh, we should make Cordun, Corduin, a state. And Western Hyrcania, which is here. Make that a state. Caspian, up by the sea, I suppose. Yep. And we have space for what? One more? One more state. Looks like Cappadocia is the one with the highest development. Boom. Okay. This is Persia now. <laughs> um, weirdly enough, our max manpower is only 29,000. Okay, uh, let's just continue on. I'm gonna have to disband some of these men. For example, I don't think I need all of these guys. Right? That's 3,000 men. Gone. They're all mercenaries, too. How many mercenaries do I have? Army of Kiwana is not my army. Let's get rid of them. There we go. So we are now at, what, 26 of 38. We can send these guys to... Hmm, let's see. Ekbatna has 16 development. Pastor Gadai has 20. Uh, let's look at the development map mode. The most developed provinces are Ganzak... Uh, Safi, Armavir. Okay, so definitely Pascadai is our best bet at the moment. Let's send... Uh, actually, we'll need Kurosh to stay for RP purposes in... Uh, Akbatna, and then the rest of the troops can head back to Pascadai. As far as economy, we can probably turn down our army maintenance for a little bit. So at this point... Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> Separatists. Oh no. National unrest. War exhaustion is through the roof. Uh, we need to reduce that, like, right away. <laughs> Spend all of our Diplo points to do that because we need national arrest at an all time low at this point. Good lord. Uh, okay, let's. We gotta do, like, basically a whole new overview at this point. Government. Median is 12% of our culture. So, oh god, we need Armenian, too. Armenian is 19%. Uh... Median is in the same culture group as Persia, so we could have done just fine with it outside of being accepted. God damn it. All right, well, no use demoting them at the moment. Let's see what people think of us. So, Aria, Sigarsha, Suziani don't like us, essentially. But, uh, most everyone else likes us just fine. Economically, we have to root out corruption. It is indeed being rooted out. Uh, where is our gold income? 3.21. Ragar, Satala, Nicopolis. So we'll, we'll have to increase our 
Oh man, I didn't even think about the... Oh god, the production. Or rather, the trade interface. I was gonna say, we need to increase production in those gold provinces. Um, because we need to hit that objective in the Archaic period. Oh man, Medea are no longer considered a great power. Okay, we have become one of the great powers. New diplomatic actions are available, such as what? Okay, we're going to invest in cavalry equipment, or are we? Yes, I really want to unlock uh, Persian satrapies so then I can start to vassalize the states around me, such as Parthia. Let's see, offer vassalization, ooh. Persia owns Parthian core provinces. Okay, we're going to have to conquer them area. Oh, I can establish a tributary. Oh man, I can have all sorts of tribute. Oh my god, look at this now. So, we can make... Oh man, this is amazing now. Uh, <laughs> I almost don't want to end the series, but... Uh... I was not intending this to go on much longer. But anyway, we'll start with Mazdun in the south. Become a tributary. Uh, can? Actually, hold on. Uh, we need 75 prestige to upgrade our government rank. Good lord. Uh, we are number three among the great powers. To increase in, in rank, we must beat the Dia. Uh, da da da. Our great power status has the following effects. Prestige decay, negative one. Diplomatic relations, two. So now we have 13 diplomatic relations. We have 20 power projection, which increases all sorts of shit. Okay, I need five more power projection, meaning I need to name a rival. Oh, man, there's just so much shit to do. No possible... Rivals, really? Okay, Babylon is no longer going to be happy with us. We need to cancel our mission. Oh, there's all sorts of stuff we can do now. Edict of Cyrus is not a subject nation. Administrative technology, at least three. Gain one stability, gain ten legitimacy. With the Edict of Kurash, the Persian ruler Kurash II, the Great, allowed the Jewish people to return to their homeland. Something interesting about Kurash... Um... He has a very important role in the history of the Jewish religion. And in fact, he is a... Like, the only person outside of the Jewish religion to be given a title. And I can't remember what that title is. Possibly Messiah, but that does not sound correct. But anyway, he allowed the Jewish people to return to their homeland. He even allowed... And possibly funded the restructuring, or rather the rebuilding, I think it was uh, the, the second Temple of Solomon. We're going to issue that, gain some legitimacy, gain stability, even though we have 100% legitimacy. Can't hurt to have the stability, which will obviously solve, or at least help with our issues of... Uh, okay, Bactria. Our issue with national unrest. The vast majority of it is caused by... Um, our war exhaustion. Anyway, as I was going to do, we need to found some tributary states, so we'll get Mazun to become one. Uh, you will be able to demand a yearly tribute from them in the form of cash, points, or manpower. They will still be able to have independent... Okay. Continue. Confirm. Gerha. We have no diplomats. Okay, I'm gonna recall all my diplomats because I need to establish like a million tributaries now. <laughs> Mazun has accepted the once in a lifetime opportunity. I like the way they phrase that. We are going to... Does that mean we still have an alliance with them though? No, they're our subject. We'll establish a tributary in Gerha. Ooh, just barely. We will establish 
a tributary in Gedrosia. Drangiana. Uh, Ericosia does not want to because of distance. Which is just fine. I think area will... Area does not because of hostile attitude towards Persia. So we need to, in fact, improve relations. Uh, I can establish a tributary in per, uh, Parthia, rather. Okay, I want to build... Let's see, I have... Pasigurdai is a... Small center of trade, so I want to put a... Market there, definitely. Do we have any coastal centers of trade? If I zoom out far enough... It doesn't seem so, though you would think that Ormuz would be one, but apparently not. Okay, we have no coastal centers of trade, but we will indeed build a marketplace in Pascadai. There we go. Now, too few rivals. We can select three rivals now. I want to select Babylon. I want to select Egypt. I want to select Lydia. There we go. Uh, the Democratic Rebels are nearly, nearly upon us. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so let's take a look at our subjects. They are sending us tribute in the form of gold. Oh man, this is all new to me. I don't know if I've ever... S well, not new, but I've definitely not dealt very much with this menu. Uh, demand artifacts. This will increase our prestige and increase their liberty desire. Parthia already has 26. That's no good. Um, so right now we're getting 15, 19, 25, 30-something gold per turn, uh, per year, rather, and that's not, that is really not an appreciable amount. So maybe, just maybe, let's look at Mazun, what would, oh, I see, amount too small. Okay, well, they're going to give us Gold regardless. Would I prefer gold or men? I think I would prefer men. Because I'm going to be... Conquering and going to war with... Other empires. Now, I would prefer... I think... Points over... Well, one point... Is <laughs> is not going to make a difference. So I'm also going to receive men, Gedrosia, men, 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 men. Send me all your men. There we go. Now Parthia is going to continue to send us. Why is it Drangiana sent us so many men? Uh, because of how much they get per month? I suppose so. Interesting. Parthia is going to continue giving us their 11 gold per year. Now we can talk to Albania. <laughs> oh man, I was like, well, all we can do is this western front. But no, we can do the north as well. Now, Sigarsia ought to be... A vassal of ours as well. They could be a tributary. Um, eventually, I suppose, I'm going to have to make some of these guys autonomous vassals. Would that be much better? I would think so. Okay, Albania. Tributary. Boom. Cartley. Tributary. 
Boom. Uh, we'll send to Colchis. How about... Uh, <laughs> you guys don't want to be a tributary? Okay. Now, Kilika, I believe, is... Snuggled up right next close to Lydia. I think that is pretty much everyone we can uh, we can persuade to come to our side aside from Sigarshia, but that won't be for many moons. Okay, Parthia and Colchis can both send me money. Albania is going to send me men, 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 men. Cartley is going to send me Many, many, many men. <laughs> so we're getting a few thousand men per year from our tributaries. Excellent. Uh, set a focus for all subjects. Supportive. Interesting, though. So that's like a wartime thing. Uh, da -da -da, total subject income. Okay, so I guess at some point we'll have to increase vassal income, which is... A I think one of our ideas. Oh, it's right here. Persian Satrapies. It is the first one, so that's definitely what we want to unlock next. If there is a next. We're 36 minutes in. And unfortunately, I think we have to uh, bring it to an end. There is not, as far as I'm aware, anything we can do at the moment. We have our cultures. We have our idea groups and our tech. Uh, there's nothing we can do for national decisions. We could set a new focus if necessary, or a new policy, I should say. As for stability, that should be taken care of when our war exhaustion decreases. And man, look at how many different religions we have within our borders. Crazy. Oh man, I didn't even think about the estates. Oh god, let's look at this really quick. Estates. Okay, so we have the aristocrats in a few different places. The Acadians are reducing our technology cost. Or rather, our, they are increasing our production efficiency, reducing our admin cost. The Anatolians, reducing our tech and idea cost. Armenians, increasing our available mercenaries. Movement speed, shock damage increased. The Semites, increasing trade efficiency and trade steering. Motherfuck, this is cool as hell. But unfortunately, I think we have to end it here. We can just take a look at our diplomatic map and we can see Persia already pretty large even without taking on any other uh, any other states and I'm fairly certain actually if we go back oh my god <laughs> somehow my tributary states do not count as diplomatic relations I guess because their subject states are vassals not uh, would they would that count as a diplomatic relation? Who knows? All I do know is that I can offer an alliance to the Dahai. They will take it. I can offer an alliance to Bactria. And they will take it. <laughs> How about the Asiani? I can uh, offer an alliance to them. They will take it. Uh, we will marry into the Bactrian line. I can offer an alliance to the Chorasmians. They will take it. Asiani. Okay, we're going to... Oh, man. Look at this fucking monster we've created. Oh, God. Okay. I really have to stop playing now. It's, it's nuts. Thank you, everyone, for watching this series. It is now over. Unless, of course, you want to see it continue, in which case you have to leave a like you have to leave a comment. Oh god, I certainly hope you enjoyed watching it. 
I certainly have enjoyed playing it, and I want to continue playing it, and if we do not continue it on the channel, I may continue it behind the scenes. Anyway, as always, my name is Incoherence. You guys are fucking awesome. And this has been Imperium Universalis for EU4. I will see you all later.